Uh, I got my start when I became vegan because that's when I started experimenting with baking more. And eventually people just really liked my baked goods and they would start placing orders and then kind of grew into a business gradually. at events because it's always fun to set up my bake sale table especially at like punk shows and make it all girly and cool and vintage and then meet just a lot of different people from that because that's actually where I've gotten most of my customers just through them trying stuff at shows. So the first time I met Clara I was at the smell and they were like oh she makes like vegan gluten-free cupcakes and her little flyer was like so cute. I met her there I think that night and she's just like the coolest young girl of all time. So when I was 16, I was just like hanging out at the mall, not doing very many cool things. So I think it's really respectable that she's so young and she's like made a name for herself and is doing all this awesome stuff. The Smell is an all ages music venue in downtown LA. And a lot of bands have come through there. And when you go inside, it's just, it's such a cool atmosphere. and. There's really amazing art in there and you always feel welcome. When I first started going, it was kind of my home away from home. Like I couldn't stop going. Every weekend I would want to go and sell baked goods there. I sold at a lot of the No Age shows. I remember for their one of the record releases, I sold like custom No Age cupcakes, which were cool. I met Clara at the Smell probably three years ago. I think she really generally has a passion. And growing up being a vegan, finding out about veganism through people like Ian Mackay and Ed Templeton, to see it come now two or three generations down the line and someone like Clara, and for someone to be a teen and to be so brave and so bold to do that is totally inspiring to me. So many of the bands that play The Smell and a lot of LA bands in general have a real DIY aesthetic of kind of running their bands, which I think is really cool. I really like collaborating with different artists for Clara Cakes. So I think if I was baking all the time and that was all, was just baking and then supplying people with baked goods, like that would be fun, but not as fun as like pumping it up with having like cool t-shirts and things like that. Besides baking, I curate a teenage art exhibition called Teen Creeps. And so that's what I do every summer and that's a lot of fun. I have gotten submissions from all over the country and even outside of the country, like from the UK and Canada. Yeah, I, I have, I've kind of procrastinated with driving. I haven't learned how to drive yet. So my mom takes me everywhere, but it's fun. We, we listen to a lot of music while driving and laugh a lot. Salman Agaf from Pizzanista, uh, he's the one who, he actually found me through Instagram. And so from there, he brought in Clara Cakes to Pizzanista. She had posted something about our vegan pizza, and then I looked at her pictures and realized that she makes dessert, and we didn't have dessert. Clara's Cakes does really well. I'd say we sell between 50 and 100 cupcakes a week. For a little pizzeria in downtown LA, I think that's pretty incredible. From a business point of view, um, she's on top of it, you know? I mean, she just is always on time. Product always looks incredible, tastes good, and I think she's on her way to like having a really neat little business for herself. I mean, I guess my first goal is just to open a storefront. And I definitely want to have a cookbook and I have a lot of different ideas. I'd love to see more teenagers starting businesses. I think it's I think it's a lot easier than people think it is. Um, I mean, especially with the internet, you can start your own business by just having like an online store and selling shirts or your art or whatever. I don't know, I feel like it's important for the government to know that there are a ton of teenage entrepreneurs that are going to take over. <laughs>